Welcome to VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. Special comment, special comment. The real thing and the real choice and the real decision about the Chicago Bears new hire, that'd be the general manager, Ryan Poles, and new head coach, Matt Eberflus. No one knows how this is gonna turn out. I repeat, no one knows how this is gonna turn out. You might be caught up in your feelings. You might be feeling some kind of way. That is okay. You may didn't want a defensive, a defensive uh, guy, a defensive coordinator to be coach. Hey, you may want it. Somebody else with a strong personality. You may not know who you want. And these hires don't make you feel anything. That's okay. It is okay to have initial feelings and initial thoughts, but to come to the conclusion that this won't work, period. I'd have to, I'd have to say whatever it is you drinking, whatever it is you sipping on please stop please stop you can't predict the future no one can predict the future granted this is the chicago bears and we know how poorly ran they are but sometime it gets sometimes some things happen sometime it is right sometime all of the stars align and it comes together and it happens I know, I know. It's been a long time since that happened. Even the last hire seemed like it was going to be amazing. It seemed like it was going to be the start of something new. Now, if you have questions or you say, hey, this seems like a path that they've been down before, okay, cool. Or this seems like the same old, same old, okay, cool. Opinions? good great fine you can be pessimistic pessimistic if you want to the rest can be optimistic if they want to or you can be indifferent but to come out and as a matter of fact say that this is gonna be a failure without anything happening without any draft picks building a roster actually seeing the philosophy, actually seeing the rest of the coaches, actually seeing the scouts come together and, and, and formulate a plan. I'm gonna say, you probably are not a Chicago Bears fan and you probably a hater. That's okay, that's fine. That's just okay, that is fine. Because I'm not waving my flag around and saying that this is going to be a success and this is going to be a winner and this is going to be everything that we've been hoping and wishing for for so long because i don't know and i'm being straight up i'm being honest and this is something that you won't get anywhere else and that's honesty and being real and being a truth teller and the truth of the matter is we don't know even when it comes to certain draft picks even when it comes to drafting people are quick to say oh that guy's a bust or that guy is a failure after the first season when we all know through evidence when we all know through history that it's usually the third year usually the fourth year when you can say as a matter of fact this isn't gonna work or this is the bus or this is what it's going to be or this is what it is but okay you can jump the gun you can say what you want and i'm not demanding that you put some respect on this process nah i'm not demanding any of that what i'm saying is and what i'm suggesting maybe you need to stop sipping whatever you sipping stop doing whatever you doing and if you aren't a bears fan to begin with don't you got something better to do don't you have something better to do why beat up on why be a bully to an organization that can't fight back and haven't been fighting back do you enjoy this does this make you happy? Does this make you feel good? 
because most Bears fans I know have this hope that this is going to work this time. We are in that hope stage that this is going to work. We have doubts. Some of us. Others are indifferent. That's fine. Because I don't speak for the entire fan base. I don't speak for any of them. I know how I feel. When I initially heard all of this, I was like, I hope, it, I hope it's right this time. Because all of this happens in stages. New GM, new coach in. Sometime they get executive of the year. Sometime they get coach of the year. And everything looks like it's on the up and up. And then next thing you know, the roof caves in. And we're back repeating the cycle back repeating the cycle so i'm not gonna get too happy i'm not gonna get too sad even going forward even moving forward when things seem good when things seem a little bit on the up and up i'm gonna pause for concern i've seen this picture before i've seen this movie before i know how it ends i know how it begins i know the climax i know all of it that I do know. But whether or not this is going to be the same movie, don't know. Whether or not this is going to fail, don't know. Whether or not this is going to succeed, don't know. And that's one of the reasons why I'm a fanatic. That's one of the we reasons why we are fans. We don't know. We put our faith in something that we have no control over and it makes us happy. It makes us a little bit sad. It makes us mad. It makes us feel all kinds of feelings, but hopefully it's the good ones and we want the good ones. We want that joy. We want to be that team at the end with the Lombardi trophy holding it up and saying, yes, finally, through all of that heartache, through all of that hardship, through all of that, We've now made it. We're now winners again. We're now back on top. I'm not gonna say where we're supposed to be because that would be lying with the evidence that's out there. That would be. And that's what makes it, I guess, intriguing, exciting, the not knowing, the going through the unknown, going through the unknown, experiencing the up and downs, building and strengthening that bond that we have with the club and the team. So when it gets to that point where it's recognized as being the best meaning holding up the trophy, we can look back on all of that and and know how it was to feel that during that time period while going forward with here and we appreciate it more and all of the other cliches that you want to throw in there but i'm here now to tell you pump your brakes we don't know this is going to be a success or a failure who knows and if somebody telling you they know, I suggest you stop listening. I suggest you run in other directions. I suggest you just give them the stank eye and hit them, hit them with the deuces.